Do you hate your personality type? What we see at scale is that the true INTJ is not proud to be an INTJ. They're like, I'm an INTJ, I'm a controlling asshole, I can't go outside, I suck. What we usually consistently see is that people that are like very happy and proud to show off in their name, I am this type, this is who I am. They're usually so full of peacocking that they almost unconsciously know what type they really are. And they've kind of found this little fake type to kind of hide that. They'll very happily push this fake type to kind of trick themselves and trick anyone else who's dumb enough to believe it, right? When we meet people online who we think are mistyped, our natural response tends to be anger. We tend to be upset, annoyed that they seek to claim the positive values and ideals and experiences of another different personality type as their own. We feel they are trying to be frauds, that they are trying to trick people into thinking of them in a certain way. More oftenly, what is the number one pattern that gets people to mistype themselves? What I've found, running the numbers, listening to people who come seeking advice on personality psychology is people feel they are not enough. The feeling that we are not enough the way we are gets us to seek to understand or explore other personality types or characteristics. The feeling that uh, an INFJ is not good enough on their own simply being an INFJ gets an INFJ to idealize or romanticize the idea of being another type, for example an ENTP. This uh, idealization, it happens because uh, we tend to stare ourselves blind at the values and the concepts and the intentions of our own personality type and we tend to get hung up on the feeling that we are unable to meet our own internal expectations. The values and intentions and motivations that come from our own four flow functions of our personality type are so strong and so intense. They are like this raging fire that constantly pushes us onwards. Introverted intuitives are pushed on by introverted intuition to conceptualize, explain, and answer the mysteries of the universe. At the same time, this same introverted intuition is frustrated by your limitations, your inability to explain or understand the mysteries of the universe. Because of this frustration, we feel I'm not able to do or be the type I wish I was. I'm not able to meet my own standards, so I must be a failure. I must not be enough to be this personality type. I must be a different personality type. This is what I call the fire needs fuel problem. Fire needs fuel. Fire needs a constant source of stimulation and challenge to push itself to reach new heights. And the fire that isn't fed will go out. Energy that is not supported by hobbies and inspiration and sources that will stimulate this energy and awaken it and summon it and draw it out will disappear or vanish. This is similar to how we can be rested but tired. We can be rested, recharged but bored. And if we are bored, we cannot make use of the inherent energy that exists inside our flow functions and inside our flow personality. We cannot be ourselves if we are not pushing ourselves or motivating ourselves or encouraging ourselves or supporting ourselves. And people who are more pessimistic about themselves, who are more negative or critical about themselves, are more likely to be mistyped. People who feel a higher sense of boredom or dissatisfaction or shame are less likely to type accurately. That's the pattern. The less proud you feel about yourself, the less satisfied you feel with who you are and what you have done in your life so far, the less courageous you feel to express yourself and put yourself out there, the less likely you are to type yourself accurately. I have thought about myself and uh, my own development and my own situation and I have realized that I am basically as INFJ as a person can get. 
this, what you see here, this is what an INFJ looks like when they put themselves out there. When they put themselves out there with pride in who they are. When an INFJ is able to trust their insight and share it with other people bravely. Without doubt, without the feeling of anxiety, without the desire to hide parts or ignore or avoid certain aspects. Without the bravery or courage to truly express what it is they want or where they are going or to truly put themselves out there in the direction of their future that they want for themselves. With a lot of INFJs and with a lot of people out there, regardless of their personality type, the more you are in like a consumer state and the less you are in a creative state, the less likely you are to recognize yourself. I say to find yourself, what you have to do is you have to go out and make hobbies. You have to go out and meet people. You have to go out and have adventures. You have to leave the TV screen, the Netflix show, the parents' expectations on you, the teachers who told you what they wanted from you, the uh, boss who said what they expected from you. You have to leave them all behind and you have to go out in a process of self-discovery. And this process cannot be purely mental. It can not purely be watching these stupid videos. They have to be something you do actively, proactively. You have to write, make music, dance. You have to go out and do sports or engage in something that pushes you or tests you. Something that will help you discover something about yourself. You have to have meaningful relationships with people you can talk to about things that you are feeling. You have to push yourself to go out there into the scary world. <laughs> the scary, overwhelming, chaotic world that is slightly out of your comfort zone and control. What I see that really hurts me is that people come to me and they have this crippling self-doubt and insecurity about themselves. They feel they're not enough. They feel, oh, it's uh, not enough to be an ENTP. It's not enough to be an INFP. It's not good enough. INFPs, they are lesser people, less able, less strong, less capable. So I can't be an INFP, I don't want to be an INFP, and so I will rationalize a way why I would be an INFP. I would find an explanation, something that will get me out of this prison, these limitations that I've conceived for myself, that I have come to ingrain in myself because of my society and upbringing. It's like... If I can pretend that I'm not this personal type, then I don't have to feel the anxiety or shame that I have about these personality tendencies. If I can pretend to be somebody else, if I can put on this persona, then I won't have to notice it. Then nobody else will notice it either. If I can put on this fun-loving, shallow, easygoing personality to the world, Nobody has to notice this uh, melancholy, this depth, this depression that I feel inside because of these uh, problems, uh, these existential issues that I have inside myself that I'm struggling to convey. If I can push myself to be more happy or cheery on video, on YouTube, as uh, if I can seem more optimistic about the future, more carefree, then I won't have to deal with my own feelings of inferiority for not being able to make the world a better place or to change the world or to do something different. Our feelings and our base insecurities are perhaps the most important to confront to figure out if we are mistyped. And if you want to figure out if you are mistyped, you have to think out about yourself. What are the things in myself that I feel are not enough. What am I feeling inside myself is missing? What am I feeling inside myself is lacking? What is it that I don't have? What is the fuel that I'm searching for? What is uh, the fuel my fire needs to bro burn higher? What is it I need to get passion, motivation, lust to live and be myself? 